I am back. That's right, everyone. I am still alive. <coughs> hey, guys. It's me, Zeke Yeager. Massive shout out to all my big boys who watch Stack on Titan. Y'all know what's good. And as for all my baby girls, don't worry. I see your comments, ladies, and they make me smile. I am lurking and I'm stalking when you least expect it. Now, for those that didn't see my community posts and have no idea where I've been for such a while, I have been holding on to dear life. <coughs> Man's Discord status was switching between alive and six feet under. Genuinely, on Christmas, I caught some kind of diseases, yes, plural, and my body did not even attempt to fight, it just threw up a white flag up in the air. Which, I mean, it probably doesn't help that I've got the immunity of a housefly. Now, I'm still not feeling 100%, but I did get my voice back, so I thought, hey, I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna attempt to record a video because it's been absolute ages. <coughs> All right, let's get to the car. Now then, you might be thinking, what are we gonna get up to today? Well, my lovely little croissant, why don't you sit down, relax? Maybe bust open a Capri Sun, because I'm about to tell you. In the last episode, we tried to see what the Schizophrenia mod was all about. We wanted to see how the trait would affect us, and we definitely saw just that. Okay, well... <gasps> so in today's video, I thought we are going to do something a little different. We are going to take the Schizophrenia experience experience from last video, and we are gonna see how it combines with your generic Project Zomboid experience of taking over a highly zombie populated area slash building. Now, the area slash building that I am talking about is located vaguely and in some direction in the middle of absolutely nowhere. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, of course I am talking about the military base. Now, I don't actually know exactly where the military base is, I just know that it's close to Rosewood, and I know that you need to follow a very strange hidden road in order to get there. I've seen a few videos of the military base, not a lot though, most of it was just uh, the outskirts, but I do vaguely remember a path that I have seen while looking at the Project Zomboid map. So I am going to try and remember and get there by relying pretty much just on memory, really. <coughs> also, excuse my coughing, I'm just... <laughs> I'm dying still. Ooh, right, okay, so if I remember correctly, it's down this way. I think. Oh, I need to have a sip of water. Oh my god. I don't know what STD I got, but my lungs and my, my vocals are on fire. <coughs> now, I did want to say, on the last Schizophrenia video, I have gotten so many comments from so many different people who either suffer with schizophrenia or know someone who suffers with schizophrenia. And I wanted to say a massive thank you to all of you for sharing your personal experiences with me and everyone else in the comment section. I have read every single one of those comments that you guys left, and just the variety of experiences that everyone has. There is common ones, there is unique ones, everyone really experiences this disorder differently. And I, I genuinely want to thank you all from the bottom of my heart for sharing those experiences with me. It was really eye-opening. So again, massive thank you, and I hope you all stay safe. Now then, regarding the game, I have no idea whether I'm going in the right direction, but there is some sort of a path, so I think I am. I am just kind of relying on the minimap here, because if I remember correctly, the path just kind of disappears into non-existence at some point, but on the mini-map we should be okay, so I'm just gonna try and attempt to rely on that and see how that goes. And I'm gonna try not to crash into any of these trees, because they are getting quite thick in some areas, which, uh, yeah, not the best. Uh, which way? This way, up here. I know that the entrance to the military base is from right to left. So taking a road going this way, down west, is our safest bet. I think. I am trying to be optimistically confident, but I genuinely have no idea whether I'm going in the, in the, <laughs> in the right direction or not. <laughs> I think I am? Maybe? Okay, so we've, we've, uh, we've lost the road now, but I can still see it on the mini-map. This probably wouldn't be very easy if we didn't have a- oh no. Uh, Okay, right. I don't want to get stuck here. But as I was saying, this probably wouldn't be very easy without the minimap, because at least we can see where the road is supposed to go, but... I mean, if we didn't have that, <laughs> I, I, I would have been lost by now. And these trees are super thick and clustered. Okay, we're 
back on the road, kind of. I am just assuming I'm going the right way, considering the road. Now, see, this, look at this tree cluster. Had, have I not have, if I did not have the minimap, I would have just given up right there and then. Ouch. Oh, this poor car. This car is truly going through the trial of resilience here. Well, at least we've got some sort of road back now. It's not much, but it's something. Ooh, another thick cluster of trees. Come on, we can get through it somehow. Can we? Yeah, we can. We're good. We're fine. <coughs> ooh, ooh, a, a road. Ooh, we've actually hit a road. Amazing. Oh, there's a lot of zombies here. Ooh, a blockade. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's just phase through it. That's fine. Well, I think we're in. Right, hold on. I need to dispose of all of these zombies. And there is a lot of them. Right, I'm gonna have to see if I can just attempt to take them down one by one. Before they cluster up completely. Because that will be the best way to do this. We don't want to create a massive cluster, not just yet. Speaking of not creating a massive cluster, here it is. Here is the cluster. Come on, kill them. Come on. And I think that was the last one. No, wait. We got one more. Hey! I'm sorry, but I'm gonna need you to, like, roll over and die. Thank you. Ooh, and we got you as well. Sorry. Oh, well, that was disrespectful. And in the back of the head. Okay, I think that didn't go too bad. We still have some back there, which I'm gonna go take care of. But first, let's wear our firefighter helmet. Let's wear our hockey mask. And let's have some food because we are quite hungry. And we do have a vegetable stir fry. So let's eat that. Let's eat a half of that. And that should be more than enough for us for now. Oh, we ate all of it. Whoops. <laughs> Well, at least we won't be hungry for a little while. Now then, let's take care of these guys. I am going to attempt to take care of as many zombies as I can on my way through this base. Because I want to try and clear this base as, as best I can. Oh, come on, hit some... There we go, finally some KOs. Ooh, and that guy has a shotgun. We could use that for bullets. Okay, another KO. So I'm gonna need you to start killing them faster. <laughs> Larry, please. There we go. Ooh, we leveled up packs as well. That's good. Right, where is that shotgun? Here it is, but it doesn't have any ammo. Oh, of course it doesn't have any ammo. I didn't even want ammo. <coughs> <laughs> right, I want to have a look over here. I want to see if there is anything here. Warning, restricted area. Well, that sounds like a military base to me. Uh, of course, it's locked. Not to worry, though. We've got an entryway right here. Let's get in. Is there anything here, though, that we actually need? Ooh, some carrots and corn. Well, I mean, since we found some fresh ingredients, we might as well put them up into a, uh, we might as well throw them into the frying pan. I'm gonna guess that there is gonna be some form of a kitchen in the military base, so we are gonna be able to cook it. I mean, it would be a bit stupid if there wasn't, wouldn't it? The helicopter? What? It's a bit early, isn't it? No way that's the helicopter. Slight panic, moist. Could it be? No! The helicopter event. Now, no way. No, I refuse to believe it. It's in our head. It's literally day day three or two. Oh, there it goes. Okay, it was in our head. Mad. I genuinely thought if the helicopter could be this early, but I guess not then, huh? Crazy. Right, so uh, I'm not sure actually which way the base is, but this road is thicker, maybe? What does the map say? Huh. Well, I'm not really 
Not really sure then. Let's just take it through one way and if it's the wrong way we'll just track back and go the other way. I do know that you can uh, hear zombies banging on the door because of schizophrenia. But I'm gonna be honest, hearing that helicopter really did make me question it for a second. I didn't know that was part of it. Ooh, we got another zombie with a shotgun. And it does have bullets in it. Okay, let's unload it. And let's drop it. Gonna put those away. One thing I'm hoping for from the, mil from the military base is that there is gonna be quite a bit of ammunition for all sorts of guns, but mainly the shotgun. Honestly, though, I'm not really sure what exactly to expect. Let's take care of you guys. That makes it easier. Oh, so much easier to dispose of them when they're on the ground. Oh, and look at you two behind the fence, unable to do a thing. Ha! I love fences. Ooh, we got a few more. Ooh! Oh, that's another thing. Whenever you get out of the car, you sometimes get jump scared by a random bite or a zombie sound effect. It's, it's uh, really weird. And schlapp. Any more in the vicinity doesn't look like it. Oh no, wait, there is a few more there. Let's get those. Let's get them. I keep trying to alternate between pushing and hitting because that way it seems to, when you hit them, it seems to stun them and they're I don't know if it's just me, and I kind of got it in my head, but it genuinely feels like once you hit them, it kind of stuns them, and then you're able to more easily push them onto the ground, which, once they're on the ground, if you're dealing with one or two zombies, it's so much significantly easier to just take care of them. Ooh, a car park. All right, I think we're gonna shut off our engine here, and we're gonna make a bit of a... Yep, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. See what I mean? We're gonna try and take care of these guys. One by one. I... at least. <sighs> See what I mean? I hit them, I push them, and they just fall on the ground. It's great. Okay, let's do a bit of a round around this place because I want to see what we got here and I also do want to dispose of any groups of zombies that we've got in this area. Plus who knows maybe there's gonna be a nice car here somewhere. I mean I don't think we're too bad with our car but you know always open for an upgrade. <coughs> wow I missed that there didn't I? Stay on the ground where you belong, filth. Well, I think that's pretty much it. Doesn't seem like there's many more zombies around the area. So I think we are gonna advance over here, which seems to be the entrance. Oh boy, I'm so nervous, but I'm so excited. This is probably gonna be brutal, though. I am fully expecting it to be. Was that a cow? Did I just hear a cow? Ooh. Okay, let's get out. I don't want to fight them in closed quarters just yet. Right, let's keep these open, because that's going to be significantly easier for us. Just get you on the ground. Now, I am curious. Oh, we got one more coming over. Let's just take care of this one before we do anything. Oh, we got a few more over here. Okay. Let's just turn on the light. Yeah, that's gonna make it easier. Right, I think we've got a bit of a free time. I want to have a look at a military backpack. Ooh. 2785. 2887. All right. If I just throw this on the ground and then I take all of my stuff and I just drag it over there. <coughs> oh, still dying. Okay, we got it all in this backpack. Right, let's equip this now. Ooh, yes, I think that is significantly better. We can throw this away now. Ooh, there's a zombie. 
Hello, sir. You seem to have broken down the door, have you? Oh, it's not just you. There's quite a few of you. Okay. Come on, fall on the ground. Just like that. And there you go. Just putting you out of your misery. Wow, this building looks big. I'm not really sure where to start. So let's just go through all of the rooms and begin with any of the open areas first. Ooh, a plunger. We love a plunger king. And while we are next to the sink, let's just let's just replenish our water supply. That'll be for the best. Do we have anything in here in any of these? Ooh, a flashlight. I don't think I'm gonna need that though. And that was a window. Anything anywhere here? No, just a I'm guessing this is a CCTV area. Nothing but security footage. Ooh, here we go. Some ammunition. Aviator glasses. Nah, we're good. <clears throat> wow, that is a sad M9 pistol. A lot of M9 rounds, though. Hold on, I wonder, what exactly is our aiming at at the moment? Aiming. One. So even if I wanted to use an M9, M9 pistol, it wouldn't really be very useful at the moment. <laughs> Let's take care of the open areas first. Ooh, we got a zombie behind here. Just one. It's fine. We're doing good. Mm, didn't really have anything useful. And this entire place just seems to be a storage. Yeah, storage for facilities. Nothing crazy. Let's have a look through the offices. Ooh, a dance magazine. Don't mind if I do. <coughs> oh, I'm just gonna have a sip of water while he's reading. <laughs> Mm, nothing more refreshing than a sip and gargle of chlorinated water. I drink it straight out the pool. Yum yum. Well, it seems like Larry's done with reading. He can now successfully bust the salsa moves. Hell yeah, Larry, you go, you go, girl. You got this. Look at him, he's so proud of himself. Now then, what do we have here? Anything useful? Hmm, doesn't look like it. I hear something bashing on the window. I don't see it though. Oh wow, there's a, a lot of... Ooh, just gonna put that away if I ever need it later. There's a lot of books though. Oh, I heard it break. Okay. Okay, there's a, a few people there. Um, huh. Ooh, there's more of them. Okay, right, let's just... uh just gonna, you know, don't worry about me, just gonna, there we go, okay, <coughs> okay, right, let's go, well, that could have gone worse, <laughs> watch this, <laughs> getting it right through the window, damn, this place is great for books, especially these offices, where's my ammo, though, I want the ammunition, oh, we got some water, don't mind if I do, I should probably wash myself as well, we don't want to succumb to some form of a disease, much like myself in real life. I wouldn't wish that on Larry. There we go. Nice and clean. Alright, let's see what we got here. A few more zombies. Just take care of you. I can't really get them. Actually, yes I can. And there's the other one. And there goes their spine. <laughs> oh wow, that's a that's a few of them. All right, let's take care of all of you before you bust down the door. Come on, die! Just die already! Hell yeah, this is an opportunity. Yes! Victorious! Seems like we got one more. Nope! Do not! Don't you dare! Do not! You do, do not dare you! You, you bleh! Ah! A kitchen! I knew they would have a kitchen. Apple, peach, can I add these onto my stir fry? I don't think I can. Yeah, I wouldn't, I won't be able to. Well, I mean, we can have a look around to see what else we got. Some coffee. <coughs> Nothing even in the freezer. Mad. Well, I suppose if we're gonna cook, we're gonna have to rely on our own canned stuff. Well then, 
open the canned tomato, open the canned tuna, open the canned corned beef, and then let's add the tomato, let's add the tuna, and let's add the corned beef. And we can still add corned beef, so let's add more corned beef. Why not? Right, let's throw out the cans. We don't need the cans. And there is no oven here. Am I going to be able to cook it in the microwave? Let's have a, let, let's try it. Temperature, we want it to go to the maximum. Let's set it to 60 minutes and let's turn it on. Right, let's see how well this radiates or... <gasps> I've set fire to it! No! Turn it off! Turn it... No! Oh, um... Well... I should probably run out. You know, no biggie. That's fine. It's alright. It's, uh... Oh no. Oh no, what have I done? No! Stop hallucinating now, Larry! This isn't a good time! Well, whatever, I'm sure it'll be fine. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be fine. There is nothing we need to worry about. I just wonder if we have any more food. Yeah, we got cereal. We'll be fine. We'll be alright. Let's just pretend that never happened. Why can I hear a zombie still? Where are you? Oh, there you are. Oh, there is a few of them. Alright, let's just take care of you. Might as well. And down you go. Ooh, so satisfying. Genuinely, killing zombies will never not be satisfying. I love it. Well, considering that was a dead end, I think it's time we go this way. Now, I am not exactly sure what to expect here. And I should probably go through the zombies' bodies, because one of them will definitely have a key or something. And Yeah, I'm right. I'm not going to be able to open this. Let's have a look to see if we can find a... A house key or something. I mean, one of these is definitely gonna have to have a key on them. I will be surprised if they don't. Aha! There it is! Key! Oh, I am so smart. Right then, let's unlock this door, enter this new sector of rooms, and unleash whatever it is we're about to unleash. Sorry, ma'am, I'm gonna need you to die. Holy bonkers! Ooh! That's a lot of them. Those are gonna break through that window any minute now. Oh, wow. Um, that's a fire. I wonder what that could have been caused by. That's a flaming zombie. Okay, I don't wanna... Don't wanna with that. No, don't. Do not do that. Don't do... Okay, oh, oh my god. All right, um... Let's just close the door. Oh my god, what have I done? That is genuinely terrifying. This is bad. I probably shouldn't be here, should I? Yeah, let's just go this way. Let's just, let's, let's just go this way. Oh no, not the house plants. No, no. I loved the house plants. They're so pretty. Oh, everything's burning. Right, let's just, let's just go out this way. Let's see if we have anything here. Ooh, well, this is mysterious. Hello, random building. What do you hold? Huh, can I disassemble it? No, I can't. Can I break it down, though? Aha, I can. What do you hold? Propane torch, hammer, saw, gas can. A full gas can. Oh, wow. Hmm, nothing crazy. Seems to be just some kind of a little maintenance shed. Oh, wow. Um... I can't believe I've, I've caused a fire in the <laughs> in the military base. Well, I suppose those military women do be flaming hot for real now. Ooh, I was wondering if there was a back exit or anything. I'm gonna need you to die, thank you. Hey, sir. Just gonna take care of you while I have the chance. Because I can hear the zombies crawling. Oh no. Are we tired? It looks like we are, aren't we? Oh wow. Okay, come on. Die. Uh, well, we are very tired and we are moderately exerted. This isn't good. As much as I would love to continue exploring this burning base before it bur burns down, I've, uh, I am very much very tired, so I don't know what I can do about this. 
<laughs> Sit on the ground for a second. Do I maybe have any vitamins or anything? No, I don't. And I'm hungry. Alright, just eat half the cereal box. That should help you. <laughs> Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I really am in no shape to take on this military base right now, so... I think I'm just gonna have a- Arrgh! I can't even take care of these lot. I am too tired. I do practically no damage. This is bad. This is really bad. Yeah, I literally do zero damage. I can't kill them. Oh wow, I killed them. <laughs> Okay, I've made up my mind. I am going, and I'm gonna go, and I'm gonna s rest, and I'm gonna sleep. I am gonna rest a bit. We need to rest. And in the meantime, I'm just gonna look at the lovely fire that is currently slowly spreading throughout the inside of the entire building. Oh, this is great. Right, our extortion is gone a little bit. So I think I'm just gonna have a look in this building, and then I'll just plan from there. Because I, I have no idea what I'm doing. We haven't had too many... Schizophrenia jump scares, at least. <coughs> so I guess there is that. A lighter. Nah, no thanks. I don't want to have anything to do with fire anymore. <laughs> Not after I accidentally blew up the microwave. Hey! Oh, still so tired. There we go. Just close this door. I want to have a look to see what we have up here. Ooh, is this like a radio tower? Ooh, and some food. A water bottle, some fresh stuff. I'm not going to eat it now, but I am going to take it. Mainly because I'm probably going to need it later. And some water. Yes, we'll, we'll of course drink some water. We'll fill the bottle. Ooh, I wonder if we can use these. Device options. Oh my god, we can! Oh, these are on the emergency broadcast system. That's so cool. Military radio. That is amazing. Although a little underwhelming that that's all that is here. And again, it is pretty cool. Right, this doesn't look like anything special. Come on, die. I think I hear fire. Oh, wow. Yeah, I definitely hear fire. I saw a zombie. Where did it go? I hear it. As well. Where are you? I don't want to move forward, I'm scared. <laughs> Ooh, well there is the fire. Some cleaning supplies. Huh. Run! I'm not getting caught in by fire. Just run. Close that door. Right, okay, let's get out of here. Ooh, they're pro broadcasting. Severe weather warning, thunderstor thunderstorm in five days. Ah, fun. Oh boy, <laughs> I can't believe this. Right, you know what? Larry is ridiculously tired. I think I'm just gonna get back to the car and sleep, and then we're just gonna explore the remnants of whatever is left of this base after it burns down. <laughs> just gonna have to get over this fence. No biggie. Just remove this and jump through. Oh my god. What have I done? And all because I wanted to cook some banging meal. Oh my god. Let's just get to the car. <laughs> Ooh, we got a straggler. Just gonna take care of you so you don't interfere with my business later. Five, six, seven, eight. Eight kicks. Eight kicks it took. Larry is tired. Ooh, another one. All right. Come on, fall on the ground, please. No, I can't handle two at once. Not when I'm this tired. Come on, stay on the ground. Please, just f die. Thank you. Oh, right, do we have any more zombies in the area? Doesn't look like it. Oh, wait, we got one. <laughs> I'm gonna go take care of it because that one zombie could cause a lot of problems for us. We are not safe until they're all dead. Okay. I think we should be able to sleep peacefully now. Oh, there's another one. Well, I guess we do have to eliminate all of them. Can't help that. Come on then, buddy. Get out of here. And he's down. Good. Right then, I'm gonna have Larry go ahead and sleep through the night because he is very tired, very exhausted, and it is 10 o'clock, so, you know, he might as well have his bedtime. Oh! <gasps>
Why? Come on, man. What the hell? Why would you do that? Larry, come on. I know you're tired, but jeez. Yeah, we're definitely going to bed. Man is hallucinating really bad now. <laughs> we need some sleep. What the fuck is going on? I hear whispering and there's gunshots. What the fuck is going on? Is this what happens when you don't take the pills? I can hear whispering. Someone's talking to me. What are they saying? What are the voices saying? We gotta listen to the voices. That is genuinely terrifying. Oh, that is unnerving. Don't mind me, I'm just dancing to the grooves of the sounds of hell. But as I have promised, I am not going to take any of the pills because I do want to see how bad this can get. Although I think this whispering is going to get on my tits at some point. Alright, other mother, calm down. Right, let's, let's have a look at... Oh! <gasps> No, stop it. I don't like it. I don't like it anymore. I don't wanna. Oh my god, what have I done? I think it stopped. I think it stopped. I think we're in the clear. Okay, that is a new level of fucking creepy. Oh, it's so dark in here. I can't see anything either. Oh, it's all burnt down. All of it. Well, at least the computer survived. <laughs> Wait, is it? Is it floating? <coughs> no, not the magic computers. <laughs> oh my god. I can't even see where I'm going. I'm gonna need to. Do I have a, a flashlight or something? No, I don't. You know what, Larry? You're going through some shit. Why don't you just eat the rest of the cereal? I think you deserve it. I'm gonna be honest. I'm not really sure what I'm looking for here. I think I'm just kind of absorbing the carnage. There's nothing else we can really do, is there? <laughs> Other than kind of walk through this place and see what we've caused. Oh, that's a fire. I still hear fire here, so we're gonna have to be careful around this area. Yeah, there it is. There is the fire. Ooh, what? No, we don't wanna... Okay, so we can jump through these walls. That's useful to know. Oh my god, it's all burned to the ground. And all of the resources with it. Oh, I can't believe this. Was there anything in here? This seems to have survived, kind of. No, I can't even interact with this. <coughs> oh, there's some cupboards here. Ooh, some antibiotics, alcohol wipes. We'll take some of that. You know what? I'm gonna throw away all of our chlor chlorpromazine, just because I I don't wanna I don't wanna rely on that at all. I wanna see just how bad it can get for Larry, and as cruel as that is. It's a it's a social experiment. It does make me wonder just how bad this mod can can go and how insane it can make him. Well, it doesn't look like there is much left, really. Everything's burning down, and it's you know this building is is about to burn down as well now. <laughs> oh, we're gonna lose the military radios. <laughs> well, let's at least have a look at what we've got here. Oh. I do feel bad. I do genuinely feel bad. Oh my god. Right, we don't want to interact with that. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of fire. Oh wow, that is a lot of fire. Okay, let's let's walk down this road. Let's see where this goes. And we are rested and we are sated, so at least we've got, you know, some a, a, bit, a bit of physical power back. I'm gonna try not to run, mainly because I, I don't want to tire myself out again. Warning, restricted area. Yeah, don't worry, I've burned the entire area down. <laughs> not restricted anymore. Though that gives me an idea, what if I set like a forest fire? I wonder how that would go. Considering most of the map is connected by these trees, would it just slowly progress through the entire map until all of the trees are burnt down? That would be a cool little experiment to pull. Maybe at some point in the future, see how it goes. Ooh, and we got a zombie. Come on, then. Come at me. 
Hell yeah. Yeah, I have a feeling this road is probably going to connect to that first one that we uh, that we got to when it split into two. I am going to be honest though, this wouldn't be too bad of a base. You get a bunch of, uh, what are they called, farming supplies, a bunch of seeds, you set up a massive farm. You're pretty much set if you set up here, if you set up farming in this area. You got fences all around you, and if you manage to get a good water supply going, yeah, this could be quite sustainable. I suppose that the only issue is that you are in the middle of nowhere, but that's, that's why you need to get, you know, water and farming setup, but I suppose other than that, you'd pretty much be good. Yeah, it does gen generally look like we're- yeah, knew it, there's those lines that we saw before. Let's just take care of these zombies, might as well get a bit of axe experience on the way. We love our axe, of course. Yeah, and there is the exit. Alright, well, we might as well go back up this way. I want to have a look at what state our car is in, and afterwards we can also have a look at what state the cars in the car park are in. Oh, I thought I heard a whisper there. I thought Larry was hearing whispers again. God, I can't believe that happened. See, if stuff that like that can happen because of schizophrenia mod, if we leave it un un untreated without any meds for a longer while, it does make me question what's going to happen. Ah, oh, so interesting. And off you go, into the afterlife with you. <coughs> oh my god, I feel like I'm gonna get into the afterlife soon. <coughs> Alright then, let's have a look through these cars. Ooh, a zombie. Oh, a few zombies. They seem to be traveling. Fight me. Oh wow, I forgot how good of a state our car is in. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna find a better car if I'm honest. Well, might, might as well look. You know, I suppose it won't really hurt looking. I do want to have a look in this ambulance. See if we find anything. Ooh, antibiotics, painkillers, sleeping tablets, trauma bags. Uh, we don't really need any more supplies, do we? So there's nothing there that I really want. Ooh, a ranger card. Now this is what I'm interested in. Could be something interesting here. I knew it! Box of shotgun shells. Right, do they have anything interesting in the trunk then? A gun case with more shotgun stuff. Ooh, more shotgun ammo. We love that. If we ever face a big horde, all of this shotgun ammunition is gonna be so very useful. Well, I suppose that's it for the military base then. We didn't manage to get a lot of loot, but... You know, we've burnt it down. <laughs> oh wow, the houseplants survived. Kind of. It's good to know that houseplants are immune to fire, much like in real life. Oh, this is where it all started. Oh, my frying pan. I can't believe it. Can't believe I've lost my frying pan. Uh, well, I suppose that's it then. Nothing else to do here. Alright, let's get out of here. This is very strange looking dead body here with nothing on it. Huh. Oh, it's that military man. Hey, sir. Alright, let's see what treasures you hold. Military backpack, we already have one. Yeah, I suppose we don't really need anything from him. Let's just go. Oh, I wonder, did this sink burn down? Of course it did. I was hoping to wash up, but eh, I guess never mind. Yeah, it's all burned to the ground. Well, Adios, military base. You've not served us well at all. <laughs> it makes it just makes me wonder how much loot I've lost. I could have had... I, I, I don't know for all I know, there could have been so much ammunition in there and it just all burnt to the ground. Oh, the mistakes which were done. Well, I suppose that's it then. Oh, crap, it's 37 degrees in the car. Let's open the windows. Will this help? Not really. <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here. It's a hot day, we've burned down the military base, we might as well get away. And you know what, considering we are hot, let's just take the helmet and the hockey mask down. These will probably help us a bit more. Right, what should our next destination be then? Well, I suppose first we need to make it out of the woods, and we don't exactly have anything unlocked. <laughs> so, so nothing more to ponder there. Suppose we'll just pick a direction and go in it. But of course first we need to get out of these woods, and right through the barriers. Right, let's get out of here. Oh, I forgot how tight of a fit it is with all of these zombies and trees everywhere. But not to worry, I am confident that we're gonna be able to get... We're, we're gonna be able to make our way back. Just gotta take it nice and slow. 
Oh, well, that, that wasn't smooth. Oh, it's going to be a lot harder now, isn't it? Because the first time I went around here, all of the zombies just kind of, uh, well, <laughs> they were all scattered through the forest, but they heard my car, and now all of a sudden they've all accumulated on my traveling road. So it is going to be a, a bit of a, a dodge game here. Where the fuck am I going? Oh no, I don't want to get stuck, come on. I, I think I'm stuck. Uh... Oh god, oh god, okay, don't panic, don't panic, do not panic, you got this, you're fine. Just this way, right, I think. Let's go. I think I totaled my car. Oh, this, this poor car. Alright, okay, yeah, we're... <laughs> <laughs> We're back on the road. Oh, I hate this. I genuinely hate how many trees there are. Just all over the place. I mean, yeah, I suppose we are in a forest, but, you know, it, uh, it doesn't make this easy. Ah, uh, please go. Please don't stop here. Just keep moving. Oh, I can't wait to be back on the main road. Oh my god, I thought I had that tree. <laughs> I thought I dodged it. You know how this car was in a perfect condition? Yeah, that's not gonna last for very long. By the time I'm out of this forest, it's gonna be a pile of junk. Wait, which way is it? I think it's down. Yeah, it's down. Oh, this poor car. Look at it. It's like it's like someone just punched it with like inhumane strength, but still. Well, at least we've got a kind of a road now. I suppose that's better. Because we're not making our way for a cluster of trees. <laughs> oh, got a thing positive. <coughs> More zombies, more trees. This is just an obstacle after obstacle, this. All right, I think I think we're getting there. I think we're almost out. Just a little, little more. And we should be on the main road. Yeah, I think we're almost there. I think we're almost to the finish line. Oh, oh, we got, bit, we got bits of road. Yes! Oh, ladies and gentlemen, we've made it. We've gone to the military base, we've burnt it down, and we've made it back alive. And we're back on the road. Oh my god, good. We need it to be. Hold on, I want to have a look at how badly I've damaged the car. Oh god, the hood. Oh no. Oh, I am, I am sorry. <laughs> well, everyone, I, f I think I'm just going to end this video here. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. There is still three more days before we complete this challenge. So the next episode is going to be extra long because it's going to contain an extra day than normal. And I don't really know where to go from here. I'm thinking Lewis will, but if you have any other ideas, let me know down in the comments. Anyways, thank you all for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, make sure to like. And if you would like to see more, then feel free to subscribe. Thank you all again, and I am going to see all of you in the next video. Goodbye. Check me out. Oh! <laughs>